Hey what's going on guys, it's Mac with Free Printly and in this video we're going to show you how to get the perfect jerk and acceleration settings for your free printer. Now a lot of people don't know much about these settings, you might stumble across it after some time of doing some research. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what they are and how to adjust it. So the acceleration setting is a setting that measures how fast your printer head speeds up, limited by your designated free printer speed in your slicer settings. So the higher the setting, the quicker the printer head will get to its maximum speed. The lower the setting, the slower the printer head will get to its maximum speed. So a lot of the times when your 3D printer is moving, uh, the top speeds won't actually be reached, especially when you're doing a smaller object because there's not much like distance to travel for it to speed up and make full use of the acceleration. But these days, uh, acceleration is definitely moving up much higher than it was before with specific types of 3D printers. Some 3D printers, the acceleration isn't as high as some of the other ones, right? The high end ones. So in Cura, there's a setting called the acceleration control. So you can basically adjust your acceleration. There's also a jerk control setting. Um, so you can adjust these after you enable it in your slicer, in Cura for example. So the jerk setting has a bit of a more complicated definition. It does depend on what firmware you're using in terms of how it affects the 3D printer. So what it does is it measures the speed at which your printer head moves from its still position. So the higher the setting, the faster it will move off from a stable position. The lower the setting, the slower it will move from a stable position. So it can also be known as the minimum speed your printer head will slow down before initiating speed in a different direction. So when I did some research about the perfect jerk and acceleration settings came upon a few different user accounts and based on trial and error it came down to the jerk setting of 7 for the x and y axis and acceleration of 700 works well for most 3d printers to solve 3d printing issues it's a good baseline to start from and then you can obviously make tweaks from there so by adjusting your jerk and acceleration setting you can fix various problems like a rough print surface uh, removing the ringing from prints or ghosting in other words you can make your printer a lot quieter it can eliminate the Z-wobble in your 3D prints. It can fix layer line skips. It can stop your 3D printer from running too much, um, too violently or shaking too much. Many print quality issues in general. So a lot of people who actually adjusted their jerk and acceleration settings said that they end up getting some of the best prints that they ever had by making these adjustments. So for the N3 for example, um, your jerk X and Y should be at 7 and then your acceleration for X, Y, Z should be set to 700 to start off with as a baseline. So this can basically be adjusted straight through your 3D printer's control box through the menu. Depending on your firmware, you should be able to make adjustments to your jerk and acceleration. But if not, you can also do a slicer control like I mentioned before. But this does also depend on the slicer that you're using. So I know Cura has this uh, for jerk and acceleration control. So through doing research, I came across a method to get the best kind of setting it's called the binary search method so it's basically commonly used uh, by computers to search programs and it can be used in many applications such as this one here so it basically gives you a reliable calibration method by using ranges and averages so the binary method basically is establish a value that is too low and one that's too high work out the middle value of this range and then try printing at the middle value and see the results if this new value is too high then use this new value as the high and then vice versa if it's too low so use a new value as a low and then basically get the middle of your new value plus the old value and then try that and see if it changes your results so usually slices do a pretty good job of making adjustments to d4 profiles and printers to have good kind of overall settings so i know in the past it used to be where you might have to make adjustments to get better print quality but these days it should be set pretty well but you can still make adjustments to see if it gives you a difference in print quality. 